Hi everyone, I hope you've been well. This is Grace again, and I received another entry to my Christmas um, craft challenge giveaway. Um, I will put on the link down below um, the, I guess, link to the original video. Um, there is still time. The due date for the postmark on the packages have to be November 12th. So you guys still have a good half a month left, I think. Anyway, um, this comes to us from Lisa, I think. Last name is pronounced Goss. Lisa, if I mispronounce your name, my apologies. Um, and she uses a P.O. box, too. I think it's okay to disclose that. Um, and I think, I don't know, Lisa, if you are new to my channel or not, um, but I think there was, this must have been an autocorrect. <laughs> I know when I type stuff out too, it autocorrects my last name, Kong, to King. So, anyway, um, guys, take a look. This beautiful um, silver zebra um, print uh, washi tape she's got here, just as a nice little accent. And um, one of the reasons why I'm showing this to you guys instead of, because usually with these, I open them ahead of time. But, well, I'll show you. Can you see? She packaged this so prettily, and I know that Jackie and Liana and everyone else had packaged it really pretty, but I don't know. I just didn't have the heart to tear into the packaging and then just show you the craft items. So anyway, um, she also um, did washi tape, two different types of washi tape here and here. Um, and so you'll notice I actually opened it from the bottom end where there's no washi tape because I wanted to preserve the integrity of the envelope. Anyway, hold on, let me um, open the package. I haven't actually seen what's inside because as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, I can't open this off camera. So hold on just a moment. All right, so I did pull these out. Now you see what I meant by... Um, not wanting to um, open these off camera, right? So, anyway, this is it, and it looks like this is the card, pocket letter, and maybe an ATC. Um, Lisa did email me telling me that she had intended on just sending me some extra goodies, which you guys don't have to, so thank you in advance, Lisa. Um, but she said she forgot those. She went to the post office, came home, and there they were at home. So um, she said she was going to send it separately. So anyway, let me go ahead and pause the video a little bit so that we can take a look. Um, I can open this without having you guys see me fumble, and then um, I will continue to film. Hold on. All right, everyone. Oh, my goodness. It's an explosion of blues and whites and silvers and pearls. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Lisa. Oh, let's start off with a little ATC, and let's see, Ta -da, hold on, oh you guys, this is so precious, look, she popped it up on this, she popped this up, and then these are these tiny little delicate pearls, and she's got the pearl on top of the snowflake too, and I love the embossing here and the scallop edges. And she did distress the edge with a little bit of um, blue, I don't know if you guys can see that, and then the back is this really pretty snowflake design. So let me put this little one back in its case so it can stay resting in its case. I'm curious, while I'm putting this back, how um, you guys save your ATCs. Do you just put them in those um, pocket letter things like this? So, anyway, um, which one to do first? The card or the pocket letter? Let's do the card. Um, now, I think I'm going to open this, um, but do you guys see this? She's got this little flower punch, and let it snow has been stamped, and it's been distress inked, and oh my goodness, I love the dimension on these snowflakes. And then she embossed this page. She rounded all the corners, and um, she put it in this acetate bag. And I'm just going to open this up briefly. So that at least I can see the inside, and um, and then I'll put it right back because for those of you who haven't um, seen the original challenge video, 
uh, my youth church youth kids are doing a fundraiser and one of the things that we're going to be getting together to do are these handmade Christmas cards and I thought you know I have such awesome crafting you know YouTube people friends um, that I thought you know I bet their crafted cards would make a really nice addition and so that was the motivation and inspiration for um, this crafting challenge so oh this is really pretty Lisa oh this is so pretty thank you so I will tuck this in, and she's got a nice little envelope here. Oh my goodness. Do you guys, you know what, I'm going to show this part too. What she did was, she put a lining inside the envelope. Very pretty. And embossed the lining and paper. And Oh my goodness, so pretty, Lisa. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to slip it back in. So that whoever buys this card as part of the fundraiser, we'll be able to enjoy it just the way you intended it to be enjoyed. Hold on, I'm going to go off camera to put this in. So the goal right now, at least for my youth kids and I, is um, it's been a little bit crazy with everyone's um, schedules. Certainly, you guys have heard me bemoan my... Um, teaching and grading schedule, and um, I'm also taking a um, graduate level course at a seminary, um, and so that's been, you know, a challenge in and of itself. Um, but what else? Yeah, and then, you know, church ministry all weekend long and stuff. So anyway, uh, we're going to, I think the goal is for the youth kids and I during the Thanksgiving weekend, um, after Thanksgiving, to get together and just spend a whole day just crafting cards, and so this will make a very beautiful and welcomed addition to the um Cards. Thank you. And then, this is her um, pocket letter. So, I love how she, the um, tag, just to remind me, um, it's by her, certainly, and then 2016 Challenge. And she's got this beautiful tassel. Oh, okay. And so, guys, for those of you who are interested... Um, I will definitely link down Lisa's um, channel down below. She's also got an Instagram, Facebook, and an Etsy shop. So Baskets and More 15. So if you are in the market, certainly, for a lot of crafting items, and crafted items, I should say, um, check out her Etsy shop. Oh, this is really pretty, you guys. She has so many different types of ribbons here. Oh, thank you so much. I know, I'm already enamored just with the tassel, huh? <laughs> and I love the sheer blue here that she has. And then this is really nice. They look like Christmas lights, but she's made them in um, the shape of a banner. She must she must have a die cut for this. Oh, okay. For a second I thought it was fabric, but I think it's just um, scrapbooking paper. I'm like, just <laughs> beautiful scrapbooking paper. And then what she did was, these are again embossed. And then she cut these out, popped them up. Oh, and I love the little snowman. Do you guys see the little snowman? Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, and then guys, look. Do you see how the snowflakes? She shaped them in the shape of a Christmas tree. And then again, this has been embossed and little pearls here. May the simple joys of the season be yours. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. And then take a look. I love this one, too. She's got Merry Christmas stamp, a little tree, and then this has all these little glitters popped up and a little silver jewel here. Oh, and look at the way she made this snowflaked, um, or snowflakes of snowmen. Do you guys see it? And then this is really pretty, too. Oh, thank you. And then on the back, she's made all these handcrafted paper clips. So we've got these and the snowman, and we've got blue sequins and a snowflake paper clip. And you guys know, you know, with the teaching that I do, I'm always using paper clips. And then some foam glitter stickers, and again, more paper clips. And then I love these too. These will come in very handy. And I also so love, let me show you this. This is such a pretty little card. And um, she wrote just a note. And I did read it. Thank you so much, Lisa, and I'm glad that I can actually do 
a challenge like this. Certainly, I get so much out of just being on YouTube and making new friends and, um, you know, just our lives are busy. And so um, my real life friends are probably like, are you ever going to come and hang out with us? And I do. <laughs> But it's just so hard to coordinate schedules with them. You guys know what that's like. And so certainly um, YouTube and I think in some ways social media has been, a, you know, um, not a godsend, but it's definitely been a uh, much needed um, source, I guess, of fun away from work and the stresses of work, but then also... Um, the opportunity to build friendships, you know, despite how, um, on some level, it's not as deep as um, we would like them to be, certainly, but um, I do still like the fact that it's this community of friends that we have, um, we get to know on YouTube, and when there are crises that happen and there are SOSs sent out, that the community can rally, and so right now, um, there is a YouTuber that, um, whose crafting style I love, and her daughter is going through some really tough um, times, and, um, I won't go into specifics, but for those of you, because I don't know how she'll feel about my talking about it in specifics on my channel, but, you know, for those of you who have children, you know, when your child gets um, bullied and it becomes a serious, serious issue, it, it's just heartbreaking and you want to try to help, um, even though you don't know them personally, you still want to help them as much as you can, you know, with prayers and letters and things like that, so... Anyway, I'm so thankful that um, we have this community, and that even though you guys, I think most of you don't know what I look like, huh? <laughs> I should probably uh, link a video down below so at least you um, know what I look like, or maybe um, when I um, pull the winner for this challenge, I'll go in front of the camera and show you, but... Anyway, long story, huh? Um, but thank you so much, Lisa. This is beautiful, and I love the color scheme. Incidentally, um, my color scheme this winter, I'm going to try to stick with reds and white and silver, or maybe reds and white and gold. I don't know if that would work. But this is usually the color scheme that I really like because... Um, one of my favorite colors is blue. So anyway, um, I will link down Lisa's um, channel down below, guys. Check her channel out. And thank you so much, Lisa, for the ATC and the pocket letter and the handcrafted cards. My youth kids are going to flip over some of these entries. They're going to be like, wow. And hopefully this will be good inspiration for them. So anyway, thank you for um, participating, certainly, Lisa. And thank you, everyone, for watching. I do apologize. I just realized it's like 13 minutes and, you know, continuing, right? So I think this will be my last video for this weekend. Have a great weekend, everyone. And hopefully I'll be able to come back next weekend with some more entries and maybe a video or two of retail therapy. So all right, take care, everyone. Bye.